Alright guys, welcome back to my Liquid Crystal playthrough. Last time I was uh, trotting along this uh, Slifco basement, and I just really want to finish this up because it's one of the more annoying areas in the game, and hopefully I can do that this video. Uh, sorry about not posting in a while, I just got a new gaming computer, so uh, this is a new computer I'm playing on, so I'm still trying to work out the kinks. Uh, you wouldn't believe how long it takes to uh, set up Cam Studio and get up all the bugs and uh, things like that. But, um, yeah, I finally got around to do it, because <laughs> finally had time to do it. So this is a uh, Carbos, and that's a stat increase item, so that's always a good thing to use. So let's go ahead and use it right now. I think this is the one that increases speed. Yeah, it is. And what do I want to be faster today? Um, how about Burninator? Burninator's supposed to be fast, but it doesn't have a whole lot of base speed, so I can help that out. Moving on, um, I'm back where I started, so I can go back through this thing, I guess, and uh, go into this platform now, and, um, yeah, this is a new area, that's always good. And you can tell it's a new area, because there's an item on the ground. And it's a rare candy, and I'll use that next time someone levels up, so I know that, you know, don't waste it. You never want to use a rare candy on something that's about to level up anyway, since it, you know, resets it to the lowest amount of experience uh, that next level. So anyway, here comes a gold bat against this uh, admin, and this admin is uh, apparently using a gold bat, as I already said. So let's just go for a thunder punch. It's super effective, but it doesn't look to be a two A KO, unfortunately. He's going to use mean look, which means I can't switch. Not that I probably would switch anyway. Just a weak little gold bat. The worst thing he can do is be annoying. I don't quite kill it. I do get the Paralyze off, though, but he's probably going to use an item because that's what people do in Liquid Crystal, is when the first Pokémon gets low, they're going to use an item to waste all of our time. But it's okay, I'm just going to get a free Thunder Punch, so it should be a 3 KO now. Maybe a 2 KO due to min-max damage. You can only hope, right? Um, let's see. It is a 2 KO. Nice! So I guess I got, like, you know, min damage first time or max damage the second time. I don't know. Burninator is now level 52, and here comes an Azumarill. I do not want to stay in, because Azumarill is a water type and can probably do a lot of damage to my Burninator. So instead, I'm going to go out into Death, who has uh, Thunder. Hopefully I can hit and just get rid of this thing. And uh, let's just go for it, and I'm going to miss, of course, and he's going to use Rollout. He'll stop it. I don't like Rollout. It's annoying. and can do a lot of damage over time. Alright, so finally I get off a of Thunder, and um, hopefully that'll kill the Azumarill. No, it does not, so he's, he's going to get off another Rollout, which he'll do a little more this time. And I'm just going to finish it off now with Shadow Ball, because uh, I can just finish it off now. Alright, goodbye, dead Azumarill. You are most dead. And uh, here comes uh, level 40, uh, 53, trying to learn Nightmare, but that move is awful. As cool as it might sound, it's only an attack that does damage when things are asleep, and Hypnosis is pretty um, unreliable, so no reason to really get Nightmare, even though it is a fun little move. It only damages people when they're asleep, but it does drain um, HP, which is kind of cool, but eh, it's not really strong enough or reliable enough to be worth it. Alright, so here comes a gold deck. That gives me a opportunity to set up my Dragon Dances on Ginger Carp. He's going to use Confusion, which shouldn't do all too much, unless he gets a Confuse off, which would be pretty lame. But he does not. I'm going to munch on my left over and go for another Dragon Dance, and let's see what he does this time. Probably just go for another Confusion. Um, no, he's going to go for a Screech. So that, that's actually, um, yeah, lowers my defense. I don't think he has many good physical attacks, but at the same time, I don't want to risk it. Let's just go for a Thrash. Um, Although, now that I'm thinking about it, it's kind of a bad thing, because Thrash will confuse me after two to three turns, and, uh, half def out of their minus four defense and plus two attack, uh, my, hurting myself in my confusion might even <laughs> KO me. Um, probably not, but it'll do a lot of damage, so I better switch out now due to this fr free switch coming up. Let's see what he's gonna go into. He's gonna go into a Gorobis, which is a lame Hoenn Pokemon. Um, it's a water type, so let's go back into death. Maybe I can thunder it for the KO. That would be nice. I think Orbis has good special attack, or I hope it's not special defense, because then Thunder would kill. Ah, uh, we'll see what happens. Um, well, that's a dead Gorbis, so there you go. Goodbye, you stupid annoying mermaid fish Pokemon. Ha! Alright, so I defeated this Afro Man, and uh, it's Ginger Afro Man. I don't know what these uh, game creators have with gingers. They seem to be everywhere in Liquid Crystal. So let's put Jinx in front of my party, being my lowest level. And uh, I'm going to use that rare candy on the thing that just leveled up, which is I could use it on Burnator or Ginger Carp, but I'll use it on Ginger Carp because, you know, Ginger Carp is a ginger too, and, you know, it just has to be that way. So this is an iron that raises defense, and I'm going to use it on something that's already really defensive just to make it even more lulzy, and that's my stoned. Might as well. I probably could have used it on a different Pokemon and make it more durable like Jinx, but. Eh, kind of a waste at that point, um, since Jinx is going to have low defense no matter what. Let's see where this teleporter goes, and it goes into this room, which I don't think I've been before. I know I have been in this room, never mind. Um, but thankfully I do kind of remember how to get back to the room I was before. Process of elimination, that's what you have to use, because th this area is just completely evil, because the teleports don't even match up, like you can go backwards through the same teleport and not end up where you were before, and they just love putting teleports that kick you back to like the beginning of the dungeon, and 
Ugh. You have to have, like, some... You have to some ridiculous memory to remember where they all go. <sighs> so anyway, let's use the calcium base, uh, increase my special attack on Burninator. And, um, let's try this teleporter. I don't like the looks of that other one in the corner. And it looks like I got the right one. This is the head admin, so I better get ready for some humiliation. That's what he just told me, but I don't like to be humiliated, sir, so I'm going to defeat you. Alright, Sand Slash is something that's weak to ice, so let's just go for it. But of course I miss. What is that, 95% accuracy I miss? That's just unlucky. And Slash, unfortunately, might be a 2 KO, but maybe I can 1-8 K with uh, Icy Wind. I'm playing it kind of uh, risky here, but it does not kill. It did lower its speed, but it's probably going to kill me now with Slash. Damn it. Why'd you have to miss, you damn kissy? Nicki Minaj, is, that's what my girlfriend called her, Jinx. I guess that's a slightly better name than Kissy, but... Okay. Um, so, let's just uh, get off the Intimidate, and now I can revive Jinx so we at least get some of the experience from this combat. Um, I don't think Slash is going to do too much after the Intimidate unless he, uh, you know, uh, critically hits me. Oh, right, he's going to use his Hyper Potion because it's low HP. Silly me. Um, that gives me an opportunity, though, to go Dragon Dance. I don't think he can really do too much to me, so the Dragon Dance is going to get me to a pretty good range to attack him. He's going to Slash, and that is going to be a crit by the looks of it, and um, that kind of sucks, but still doesn't... And it doesn't even do half, so I think we're good. Let's just go for a Waterfall. It's plus one, stabbed, uh, pretty powerful physical attack in uh, Liquid Crystal, so that is a dead Sand Slash. And uh, Kissy does get the little 52, which is good, so good thing I revived her. Alright, here comes Magneton, and I'm not going to bother around with it. I'm just going to murder it with Burninator. Come on, Burninator. Just Burninate it with Overheat! Yes, that was a rather evil way to say it, but... I am quite evil when these things are pissing me off. So that is a dead Magneton, and that's all I have to say about that. I lose some special attack, but I'm probably going to switch out anyway. So it doesn't really matter. And here comes Melotic, so yes, I am going to switch out. And, uh... I don't even know. Maybe Death. I can try to put it to sleep and then hit it with Thunders. Uh, Melotic is an annoying Pokemon because it has good defenses and HP and decent attacks, so it's uh, really just an all-around annoying poke, so... Of course I miss with Hypnosis. What did I just say about it being unreliable? And you use Rain Dance. Oh, you fool, giving me 100% accuracy, Thunders. I will take that any day of the week, sir. Unfortunately, it's probably not going to kill. It doesn't, and, um... Ah, crap, maybe you're not so dumb after all, because that'll probably kill me. A, uh, rain-boosted hydro pump. Uh, well, you know, Ginger Cart might be able to abuse the rain, too. Plus, I don't think it'll take too... It take, I don't think it'll take too much damage from the, um... From the freaking hydro pump being that it resists water. Though it's still a hydro pump in the rain, so it'll still do a lot of damage. But maybe I can set up a Dragon Dance and, uh, kill it with a Waterfall of my own. I mean, I know it resists Waterfall, but... In the rain, it might be stronger than Thrash still, because I still get the stab. I don't know. I don't feel like running a damage cap, so I'm just gonna go for the waterfall and hope it kills. Let's go for it. He missed a uh, hydro pump, so that was convenient. And no, it does not quite kill. Survive for the sliver of health. Luckily, this guy already used an item, so he won't be annoying us with uh, using another item on Melotic. Typically, they only have one, um, so I can probably finish this guy off now with waterfall. Hooray! Stupid dead Melotic. That's what you get for being stupid. A Hoenn Pokemon that no one likes. The Lotic's kind of cool. It's one of the few Hoenn Pokemon. And here's Mischievous, one of my favorite Pokemon, especially when it evolves, although it can't evolve in this game, because um, I think it's a Gen 4 evolution. So let's just go for a Waterfall to get rid of the Mischievous, and uh, that is a good game, Mr. Head Admin. You stinking Tweep! I'm, is, is he Tweeper? Is that even a weird word? I don't know. Alright, so uh, let's just use the revive on death so I can uh, not have it dead. That's convenient. So I don't think I have any other healing items other than the floor storage, which kind of sucks to waste them uh, just to heal up my Pokemon. Probably a super potion would do. I need to buy some of those super potions just to use after I use a revive. I do have a hyper potion here, so I guess I'll use that and um, I guess use the other full restores. I don't know if I'm going to get a chance to heal my Pokemon coming up because I don't really remember this area too well, so. Uh, yeah, let's go for full restores. Uh, so there we go. Now my team is perfectly healed. Mwahaha. Yeah, I can continue. And there's the uh, ginger friend up here, Axel. We have a slight pro- Oh, I remember this now. Damn it. Yeah, apparently I have to go back all the way through the beginning of the dungeon to find the freaking electrical switches so that door can turn on. Uh, yeah, I have to go to the beginning. And remember how much, you know, pain that caused me earlier? Well, I haven't played for a like, couple weeks, so... And I could have healed my Pokemon there, side note. Uh, so don't use potions there. Um, but... 
Dang it, so here's one of these switches, and you know, you kind of want to touch them when you see them for the first time, but you can't. Because now you have to go all the way through this freaking dungeon, find all three of them, and then figure out how to get back. And oh, I remember this. Dang it, remember from last video, these puzzles are so annoying. So I found one, and um, I don't know where to find the other two. They're just... there's a round. That's the best way. Hey, here's another one. Okay. Power Switch 3. So not only have to find Power Switch 2, it should work. Um, but I don't really know how to do that. This is going to be really annoying. Oh my god. I can just see me wasting the entire video trying to find this uh, Power Switch 2 and coming back here. Getting... oh, why did, how come you didn't go on that portal? People are immune to portals these days. And the game locks you in here, you can't actually leave, as you see. Um, even though I do have the card key, but I can't leave right now because I need to finish this first, and this guy's gonna run into me like an idiot and not even get affected by the teleporter. It's convenient. Um, you know what? This is really lame. This, I'm never going to find it and make this <laughs> video in time. It's like I'm gonna waste my entire time trying to find this power switch 2 and getting back. You know what, I already did this once, and um, I know you guys uh, are probably going to give me a hard time for doing this, but you know what? When the game creators do something this just, just awful, you have to cheat. That's what I'm going to do. Because <laughs> I, I don't know, I have no idea where Power Switch 2 is. I, I'm just going to cheat. I'm going to cheat so hard, right now, if I can't find it in like two seconds. And uh, it might not even be on this floor, there's like three different floors. Yeah, screw it, I'm cheating. Interlude. There we go. And I have activated walkthrough wall cheat. This will make things so much easier to find this stupid freaking power switch too. I'm just walking through walls and looking all the wrong places. Walking through walls. Hell yeah. Anyway, so uh, I don't see it on this floor. So it might not even be on this floor. How lovely. Oh wait, here it is. Power switch 2. Right next to this scientist guy. So... If you guys actually have a super memory, remember which portal's linked to that area, now you know how to get to Power Switch 2. And, uh, uh, this is the wrong one. I have to go up the other stairs on the other side of the building. They both go up, though. That's kind of awkward. So, I don't know. I thought there was, like, three basement levels here, but both these stairs go up. So I don't know if this, uh, this, you know, hell dungeon even makes sense. So, uh, yeah, let's disable these cheats now, because I don't want them causing trouble, and... Yeah, you can copy those cheats if you're having a hard time in this area just to, uh, just to get around this annoyance. And I forget which portal I have to go through. Let's heal my Pokémon even- wait, I, I- I didn't even fight since I last healed my Pokémon. But, you know what? Why not? Uh, what does this portal go to? Oh! It goes me all the way back in the beginning of this- okay, the floor- the- damn it! Ah! Alright, time to cheat again. You can copy down these cheats, uh, pause the video and copy down the cheats if you really don't feel like doing this area like I don't, because this area is lame. This is the absolute worst thing about this uh, hack. You know, I don't know what the designers were thinking. They turned like a nice, charming Pokemon game into like hell on earth. But uh, yeah, there is one way to do it, and it's called cheating. And uh, okay, let's say I can remember how to get back to Axel now. You know, I, this actually area isn't so bad. Uh, it's mainly linear, except for, like, a few choices, and I think I remember which, uh, portals to go through, so, uh, that'll be convenient. I think it's this one up here, and I might miss an item or two, and I don't effing care. I'm getting out of this area. It's not locking me here again. Uh, okay, so here we go. I found Axel. Good job, Zeal. You were able to cheat. Now we could go and, uh, open this door. Aha! I found you, Russell, the creator of this evil organization that's trying to capture these Pokémon. And, uh, one of the dragon Pokémon survived, the other one I caught. Ha! Oh, but now he's finding out about the Pokémon from space, the Reggies. Didn't you? Yeah, Reggie Rock was where your old base was. But now he has the location of all the Reggies. Of course, we're going to have to chase him around this region. Hopefully he doesn't have any more annoying bases like this. And they're done here, and, uh, the director is happy because I saved his pathetic company with the confusing portals and... Like, how can you even work here, honestly? So I get a Master Ball, that's pretty cool. Now I have some Master Balls, yo. That sounds pretty bad. I think I have two of them now, because I think Elm gave me one, too, so I'll have to use them eventually. Uh, just to speed up a, uh, you know, a, uh, legendary Pokemon battle. But anyway, here we are, finally free from that evil area, and people are stopped blocking the town so I can go to Mr. Psychic's house and get the Psychic TM. You wanted this. You were absolutely correct. You must be a Psychic, sir. Either that or that's the only reason people visit your pathetic house. 
Um, so here we go. I can use in my TM case and uh, go to Psychic. Heck yeah! Which means Kissy finally has a move that's worth using. Um, and I will just get rid of Confusion because Psychic is infinitely better. Goodbye, Confusion. One, two, and poof! You forgot Confusion and learned Psychic. So, um, yeah, I'll try to post these a little more regularly now. I was kind of trying to avoid that area because I didn't quite want to do it. It was like, oh, do I really want to do this video now? Plus, I got a new computer, so I was messing around playing Borderlands 2 and things like that. It's a pretty epic game, especially when your computer doesn't suck. All right, so uh, rate, comment, subscribe. Hopefully, I'll see you guys again soon next time. Rate this out, yo. Bye.